everybody. Welcome to the fourth episode for Board Off. I'm Ken Levitsky. Next to me is my co-host, the smartest guy you'll never see on Twitter. I keep saying that because Stephen Hawking is on fucking Twitter, man. You're not. <laughs> what the fuck's going on around here? Chris Fedick, everybody. Uh, yeah, this should be an this should be an exciting. Uh, what does that say? Ah, this should be an exciting episode of the show. There. Yeah. Uh, I thought it said I'm excited in my pants. No, I, I, I thought that was for next week's show. Oh, yes. Okay. Everyone's going to skip right to episode six now. <laughs> <laughs> that was my plan. Of course, Board Off is the game where Chris and I will bring a board game to this table, and neither one of us know which one we're bringing in. As we take turns, today is my turn. And I'm going to hit you with a little kitty game once again. No mustaches involved this time, though. Today, Chris, we are going to be playing... How to Train Your Dragon 2, Pop and Race, which is essentially just trouble with dragons on it. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is by Pressman Toys, and I got it for $5 on the clearance rack. But geez, I wonder why nobody's buying this. <laughs> uh, ages 5 and up, so this is even younger than our last game that I brought in. But people say I usually act like a two-year-old. Are you sure I can play this? <laughs> I feel so bad now that the game you brought in last week was 55 bucks and I brought in a $5 game. I, pl I planned on keeping that game for myself anyway. So, yeah, so I, I just went on donating my games to my nieces because I will never, ever play this shit again. Alright, so basically you get a really flimsy, cheap box. Actually, you better watch out. It's Some trouble it. pieces. <laughs> trouble pieces. <laughs> and then this. Peel that off. Now, Chris, have mm. you seen the... Babies and children and stuff. I, I don't understand how children do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stop the video. Chris has died. Actually, no. Keep it running. That's good for ratings. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really a cheap looking. Um... I have you wind on by I have a they feeling can't hold up. they probably just bought a trouble game. Three popped off the board, threw their board on, gave you the trouble pieces, and threw it in a really cheap box. Like I can't get over how flimsy this feels. It feels like a pasta box. You know the box that you get with spaghetti in it? Yeah, but it doesn't have one of those little spacers to hold the the, the box away from the food. Is this like, it's even scratched. Like, how's the scratch? It looks like someone has played it a bunch of times. Look how scratched this is. <laughs> Look how scratched that is. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they took a, uh, a used, a used trouble, trouble game. game. They, trouble went, game. they went to Salvation <laughs> Army and bought it. They're going to buy it off the shelf from Walmart or something. Uh, Repackaged the used one. <laughs> now, Chris, I have played Trouble before. It's been a while. I'm assuming they think everyone has played Trouble because you don't even get instructions. Uh, the object of the game, be the first player to get all four of your matching movers home. Uh, contents, plastic game board with game die popper and 16 movers. Set up, each player takes the four movers that match the color of the corner of the board and places them in the four corner spaces. Each player pops the die. The player who pops the highest number goes first. Play then moves to the left. Right, you, you played trouble before. Have you yeah. not played trouble before? Years and years and years ago. Oh man, this place the. Uh, uh, I keep wanting to say the Serpent Society because of Serpent. the Marvel villain team, the Phantom <laughs> Society. But he has hardly played trouble in his life. Meanwhile, this is one of the few board games I've actually played a few times. So, um, yeah. So basically, uh, you take what you want to be orange. What color you want? Sure, I guess. Sure. I guess. I guess it'll probably be simple. I'll take blue. Blue? Okay. Yeah, well, I might as well just spin it around and some blues right there for you. I Actually, guess. I think I'll be uh, red now. Okay. I changed my mind. Please, please go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll just be red then. Makes it nice and simple. So we're just going to put the four right here. And uh, basically just move around the board. I haven't right. played trouble in a while. Uh, before a player can put a mover on the game pad, he or she must pop a six. What? Uh, I think that's the Is it the fifth one? Uh, when that happens, the player puts one mover on their arrow space. Okay. 
On this bonus turn, the player may move this mover or any of his or her movers that are on the path. Uh, throughout the game, a pop of six may be used to either move a new playing piece onto the arrow or move a playing piece already on the path. A pop of six always gives a player another bonus turn. Okay, so you pop a six, you get two turns. If a mover ends on a space occupied by an opponent, the opponent returns his or her playing piece to one of their corners. See, uh, that's why I love Ultra Mike. So fucking the left, like bam, go home, bitch. <laughs> I mean, I have to go around a second time if I do this, but bam, <laughs> bam, suck on that. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess. Oh man, oh look at the glue in there. Is that cracked? This is so rough looking. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's five dollars. Someone like played football with the pucks. Wow. Okay, I love How to Train Your Dragon. It's probably one of my favorite anime series or films of all time. The sequel was even better. How to Train Your Dragon 2 is basically the Dark Knight of, of animated films. Because that's the Dark Knight and the first would be like Batman movies, right? Do you watch the Batman movies? Yeah. Okay, so you know that everyone has a hard on for the Dark Knight saying it's the best thing ever fucking made. Even though I've seen better superhero movies. And that one almost, only got the praise, I think, because of Heath Ledger. Best. But whatever, we're way off topic um, now. That and I just you have, have to admit, if you look at the first Batman, it was awesome. Yeah. The second Batman was like, eh, it's kind of good. Now you're going back and to then the Michael Keaton. Right? Yeah, and then it's just horrible. Yeah, the, the more the series got nibbles, the worse it got. <laughs> so, um, but yeah. But then the, again, if you go back, it was actually Adam West awesome, and then you were stuck with like Michael Keaton, like horrible in the 80s. Dude, Michael Keaton rocked. <laughs> Well, I know, it's just a joke. I, you better be a <laughs> fucking joke. I think we're going to have to do a, a, an episode here in the future where we just bitch about the Batman movies. I think that's the best Batman movie of all time is The Massive Batman. An anime film. Seen it? I haven't seen it. Watch it. I saw the Batman vs. Dracula, though, when Alfred shoots Dracula with the, the crossbow. Yeah, like 14 Of course you've seen that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll pop. Uh, I got a four, you go. Okay, so I'm going first, which makes no sense because we both got the pop of kids. But I got a one, so I should go first. Two. <laughs> Five. Five. Four. I maybe I Don't can... smash it too hard, it's already <laughs> cracked. <laughs> well, there you go, it's a flimsy box because oh, someone six. already opened it and they were smashing it. Okay, there you go. And one. All right. Oh, you're moving on. Or do you go to one? You copy me. <laughs> yeah, that's the way I wanted to move. I'm gonna move this guy up too. And one, two, three, four, five. Oh, don't get a five. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> one, let's move this guy up. So does this one have one of those Monopoly uh, screw use where if you roll doubles three times, you go to jail? Is there gonna be like you roll sixes three times, and all your pieces go back? <laughs> Because <laughs> I mean, I want to aim for that actually. Is that what you're going for? Yeah, why not? Even if it would cost me the game, but it would just be awesome because it happened. <laughs> oh, you're gonna bring one out or move you got six? Ah, why not? Maybe I should have six. <laughs> oh man. Oh, I forgot to say that I'm gonna lose. Now I really am gonna lose. <laughs> Perfect. One, two. I'm coming for you. Rule of six. I'm coming for you. Four. Uh, I, 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 I'm pretty sure. No, this is oh, your home, so you skip it. it is. Yeah. Look at that, man. Go home, I'm coming bitch. For you later. Go You're home. Pay for that. <laughs> now I'll say that, but you'll probably land on this one, <laughs> then this one next. Yes. <laughs> I don't know, you're coming for this guy now. I better get him moving. Oh, actually, <laughs> actually, one, two, three, four. Now I have to get you, or I'm pretty much screwed. Uh-oh. Six. Here he comes. Don't pop six. Okay. One, two, three, four. Ah. Oh, come on. Finally. That was just okay. rude, and I'm all the way back to the beginning with this guy. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. You call it rude, I call it revenge. <laughs> Revenge could be pretty fucking rude. 
I'm not popping any sixes. These, oh, you're six. gonna get tons. I'm gonna be sitting at home the whole time. Oh, yes, I better do this. Hey, you know who's copying? <laughs> Alright, that'll put me right near there. You're in the zone. I'm gonna hope you don't pop I'm it. I'm coming for you! I hope you don't pop it too. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I better get this guy a little. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, he might be safe. Oh, it doesn't matter. There's a one in six chance that, that he's getting knocked off. I might off. as well keep him at home. I, okay. Every turn, there's a one in six chance that I'm knocking him off the board. <laughs> Now, yeah, now you got three coming for that guy. Okay, I gotta get out of here. No, it's two and six. Four, <laughs> One. I'm trying not to get on your home face face until I can get a, a few casts at that. One, two, three, four. Okay. Three. Couple past. <laughs> I guess it's a four again. <laughs> okay, good. I'm bringing this guy home. <laughs> again when you don't even need them anymore. There we go. Make it harder for you to knock me off the board. Okay, I gotta just, you're gonna be all home by the time I get a freaking sick to get a guy in. Oh, okay, good. I'll take that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Butterfingers, man. Okay. Six, Ooh. six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hell. Go home. And... All because you sold your soul off. I'm gonna sell because you sold your soul to the devil, but... Uh, <laughs> You didn't get the three sixes. Oh, can you imagine? I wouldn't put it past you to knock me off instead of taking a piece out if you got the six for that. <laughs> Make the game last. Slipped off the friggin' dome here. The dome. Okay. Back to this game. <laughs> Ken just, and now you remember why you hate this game. Ken just pops for no reason. Like, oh God, you got the six magic. I'm gonna move the piece because then there's no way you can knock it off in the next three turns. Oh, oh, here it goes. Oh. 
There goes the praise Satan joke. <laughs> Probably should have actually went there because that's the hardest friggin' space to get. Yeah, that's why I took it. Oh, and you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got horrible luck now. This is awful, man. I cannot get a six <laughs> at all. There you go. You're getting awful, though. You see this, right? You see how many sixes you're getting, right? And I've had like three the whole game. And I mentioned that I brought my Lucky Charm and ate Lucky Charms this morning. <laughs> Look at it! What the hell? Oh. Uh, oh. When you can knock me off the board. That's why you needed me in a position you could knock me off the board. <laughs> a little bit of lightning and whatever. You just got to say it's like it's no big deal. I'll pull sixes out of my ass all day long. It's all in the skill. Is that what it is? Now, of course, I wore out 40 of these boards trying to get that skill. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bad place to be. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, six. Oh, you got a six, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that means I get another chance to get one. Oh. <laughs> I can't even get over it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you got to pop a three. Now there's the problem because all my stuff has been like four and up. Yeah. <laughs> or if you get three ones, you're good. <laughs> ah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> Man. How? How is that even possible? I got like hardly any sixes the whole game. Because I picked the lucky blue piece, Congratulations. Man. There we go. I broke I, the streak. I didn't say I was going to lose, and then I lost. Yeah. See? I am officially a superstitious person now. Yeah. You, you pretty much have to be superstitious now. Wow. <laughs> well, okay. Let's go to Epic Cam. Epic Cam. And we're back from Epic Camp. That was so long, right? Yeah. That was a minute. So suspenseful. So much suspense. Holy crap. Okay, Chris, review time. Now, it's been a while since you played Trouble. This is basically Trouble. What do you think? Uh, well, well I think okay, first off, let's go. What do you think of the game itself, and then what do you think about the actual manufacturing of this game? Uh, well, it like you said, it looks like someone just took a, a couple of uh, pair of pliers and a screwdriver and peeled the trouble off the back yeah. and pasted their art onto the back. <laughs> and they made five bucks off this chump. <laughs> <laughs> uh. um, yeah, it's actually it looks pretty sturdy for the, the popper. I mean, it's... Uh, I remember trouble. You would press it down, and sometimes it would work, and most of the time it wouldn't. Uh, the original trouble. Yeah, that's true. Trouble. Uh, you know, but that was like back in the '80s when we were playing. Yeah. <laughs> back in the '80s when plastic really wasn't that good. Still, thirty years later, and here it is, covered in glue and scratches. <laughs> uh, I've always loved trouble. It's it's a fun little game to play with anybody of any age. I think. Uh, mm -hmm. Because, I mean, it's simple, right? As long as you can pop a fucking six, it's simple. <laughs> um, I have to say, though, this is probably the first game of Trouble I've ever actually won. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, look at that. It's not even the official Trouble. <laughs> uh, okay, so, basically, game-wise, I enjoy it because it's Trouble. Board-wise, this is scratched and cracked and covered in glue, and it's... Trouble pieces and a trouble board, it's essentially trouble. In fact, I wouldn't even be 
Oh, it actually says Pressman Toy. Yeah, I, I, I noticed actually, that and checked it on the box just to see. I yeah, wonder if I, I wanted to see if it, who does trouble. Is it Hasbro? That might be Parker Rogers. Parker Rogers. Yeah. Well, whoever. I, I I was honestly expecting to see it on here. I'm not surprised it's made in China though, because that's probably the only people they could get to make this without getting sued. Parker, Hasbro, or whatever. Well, it's uh, not unheard of for uh, some Chinese manufacturers. They'll actually take something to make for somebody else, <laughs> change what it looks like, and sell it for like a quarter of the price as a different product. That happens a lot with electronics, so maybe they just decided, let's do that for this. Yeah, let's uh, just go for it. <laughs> uh, if you want to play Trouble, I recommend go buying Trouble. If you want a How to Train Your Dragon Trouble, buy Trouble, get a pack of How to Train Your Dragon stickers, and put it all over it. <laughs> and you will have a better quality product. That's my honest opinion. Um, Game-wise, fun. Board itself is horrible. Just awful. I mean, Same as these symbols, too. It might have been kind of interesting if they put in the rules these symbols actually meaning something. Yeah, they could put a little twist on the, the classic trouble gameplay, yeah. but no, it's just straight up trouble. Um, but whatever, I thought I'd give it a shot, give it a try. That's five bucks. What's well, five bucks, right? Yeah. I could have bought a couple chocolate bars instead. It's probably better for my health. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Except for the stress of losing. <laughs> Okay, so that is episode four of Board Off. I want to give a couple shout outs today. Uh, thank you to Calico's Coffee Paps. Calico's Coffee House? Thank you, Chris. He translates me all the time. <laughs> uh, Calico Coffee House in Thunder Bay, thank you for letting us use your wonderful board room to play this awful game. Um, oh, I got a six! <laughs> he gets the six. <laughs> And a special little thank you to Jake Doyle of Snolly Goster Productions who put together our opening video. Uh, it did an awesome job. If you don't know who Jake is, he is his username is Snolly Goster at HighDevNinja.com where I'm editor-in-chief. He's on the forums. That's how I met him. He does all High Dev Ninja's videos as well. Super talented dude. He put an awesome, an awesome opening together. So thank you very much for that. Uh, Chris, you got anything to say? Not, not pretty much. No? You did all the wrap up and everything, so uh, I did all the wrapping. Yo, have a time. Last wrap out. Was it 1985? <laughs> yeah, that was like 91. Now. 90s. 90s. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that was board off. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, give us a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Give us a recommendation. Um, other than you know, My Little Pony trouble by pressman or something like that we, we we got trouble we're good now we're troubled out i think yeah yeah um yeah so do that i'm at ken levitsky on twitter i am at ken levitsky.com highdefninja.com chris is exclusive to board off for now anything else yeah chris, <laughs> chris says nothing. i'm a man of few words he's just here to kick my ass all right everybody thank you very much we'll see you next tuesday Oh, <laughs> my